Not the bee goes on to say, quote, you know, whenever I tie myself to a tree and shoot myself in the chest, what I normally do is take the gun away from the crime scene, but leave all the other evidence. Yeah, because, I need know, to leave the place clean and tidy. Go ahead, make them think anybody else is guilty. Right, you know, it's common courtesy. I mean, I just want them to know I did. <laughs> what? I <laughs> mean, Another Ark Inside? Defining, exploring, and updating Ark Inside in the Culture War Encyclopedia. The following has been added to the Culture War Encyclopedia, slightly adapted, under Ark Inside. Every time, no, every term in bold will sooner or later link to another entry in the Culture War Encyclopedia. Please subscribe. There's a subscribe button right there. There's a link to what you see on your screen in uh, both the chat and in the description to this video. Uh, and it's saying here that this was published a couple hours ago and it's saying this is the live stream that I'm doing right here. I don't know if I press this, will the snake swallow its own tail? <laughs> if I press play on this right now, because... I don't know. Um, I, I don't know what'll happen. Maybe, like, uh, things will go inverse and left will become right. And, uh, in and out. <laughs> in will become out. Anyway. Uh. Arkansas. It seems there has been another case of Arkansas. Also spelled that way. The term reportedly is a combination or, to be more literal, wink wink, it's a, quote, portmandu of suicide and Arkansas that was used by Twitter conservatives to accuse the Clintons of foul play, unquote. And, uh, forget, where did they get that from? The Atlantic. That's what I'm quoting there. Note the flawed binary thinking and the assumption or the assertion that to criticize the Clintons is to be a conservative. One need only to think, to see, that this is absurd in principle alone. It is also demonstrably false. For example, CNN's Lou Dobbs, CNN's Lou Dobbs folks, use the term in a matter that is critical of the Clintons, as we'll see below. Christopher Hitchens, uh, author, um, thinker, debater, is another example he was an outspoken atheist, so not exactly a conservative. Uh, in his younger years, he was a socialist. Uh, but for a time, but only for a time. Uh, but critical of the left, no doubt, and the right. He was certainly not a conservative. It's fair to say, when he was alive, that Hitchens, quote, challenges perceptions of liberals and conservatives alike, unquote. I believe that's a blurb from uh, one of his publishers, his book. No one loved to lie to the triangulations of William Jefferson Clinton. Yep, Tabby's uh, stickering over there. And it could be witnessed that he's uh, challenging of both sides in uh, the following clip. Uh, well, let's see here. Pretty much whenever he appeared on uh, Politically Incorrect, he ruffled feathers, sometimes on the right, sometimes on the left, usually on both. Uh, here's uh, Bill Maher holding up his book, No One Left to Lie to, The Lies and Triangulations of Will and Jefferson Clinton. And uh, I'm not sure he, he does not do well in this particular episode of uh, Politically Incorrect. I don't know if he's afraid of being Arkansas, but he never brings up Arkansas. You know, whether by name it or all. In other words, he doesn't bring up uh, any sort of deaths connected with the Clinton family when he really could have. He takes a beating uh, in this particular episode, but he is speaking out against the Clintons, and everybody else is like, "Well, why do you not? Why? Why are you so against them?" And he could have said this, that, and the other thing, but he just doesn't. It's weird. I don't know why. Maybe sometimes he's a notorious drinker. He, it may be that he was just too loaded. And it gets a little annoying, especially if you know how brilliant of a man he could be. In that episode, he uh, he says, Mr. Clinton is a rapist. 
Mr. Clifford is a rapist. Okay. Again. Mr. Clifford is a rapist. Okay. Again. Mr. Mr. Clifford is a rapist. Okay. Mr. Is a rapist. Okay. Okay. And then he goes on to say, plausibly accused. <laughs> and then they, they, they say to him, well, this is America, buddy, and that's not how it works here. And he, he just doesn't do a good job of defending himself. But I know that he has stacks of receipts for everything, but he just doesn't do a good job here. But anyway, the Great point yes. I am making here is that he is not a conservative, and he's certainly not uh afraid to criticize the clintons at least uh, to a certain extent he also said uh this and just because someone gets yeah. away with everything doesn't mean they're not a rapist a war criminal a liar and a crook okay yeah. okay rapist liar war criminal and crook he's accusing them of being not exactly confirming the view that if you criticize the clintons uh, you're you're a conservative conspiracy theorist or something like that uh so, thusly putting aside the infantile suggestion that only conservatives would accuse the Clintons of Arkansas, let's further define the term in the interest of being fair and balanced. Uh, after all, this is all about the culture war encyclopedia. Uh, a source from the other side of the seesaw than Hitchens, Conservapedia. It's a conservative source, and we heard from Hitchens about the Clintons, and he's, he's more on the left side of the aisle. Fair to say, let's go to, to a conservative source. Conservapedia reports the following, with citations for every claim. Quote, Arkansas is a neologistic, neologistic, I think, no, ne neologistic, I suppose, uh, term attributed to the killing of political opponents and having it framed as quote-unquote suicide. And you can see there's footnotes there. I'm not going to go into everything. Uh, a reference originating with the Clinton body count. Clinton body count. I should read it as. It is commonly used in connection with deceased persons ruled a quote-unquote suicide with two bullets in the back of the head. <laughs> Many suspicious deaths began occurring in Ar Arkansas when Bill Clinton was the state's governor, hence quote-unquote Arkansas. That makes sense. Yes. These deaths have uh, most often been caused by hitmen, hired by the Clintons, most often by Hillary Clinton, footnote there, footnote there, to silence political opponents and to protect themselves against anyone who had potentially damaging information against them regarding illegal activities they were involved in that could end their political careers and send them to prison, footnote, footnote, unquote. Bill Clinton is, a, is from Arkansas, of course, and Hillary lived there for some time. They both attended the same college there for a while. And though some uh, avoid saying the following directly, Arkansas pertains mostly to the Clinton crime family. Uh, but some people apply it to other politicians in Arkansas, and I'm thinking, so there's more than one political <laughs> family that... <laughs> From Arkansas that has people killed? I, I'll, 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 I'll have to look into it. Maybe it's a thing there. You know, maybe it's a deeply ingrained thing in that area, you know. Because there's, you know, there's still deeply ingrained cultures in America. Scum usually regional. doesn't float by itself. You know what's what's that, baby? Scum doesn't usually float by itself. <laughs> yeah. It tends to clomb together with yeah. other bits of scum. With different blobs grouped scum. together. <laughs> Yeah, so the Clintons most likely moved into areas that had people with the same low moral integrity as them. Yeah, well, uh, I looked into it really quickly, and it seems like uh, Hillary Rodden Clinton is first from Ohio, then, oh, I forget where, then was living somewhere else, uh, I think Maine, and then somehow... Um, ended up somewhere where Bill Clinton was and said, I gotta get me some of that, and they both went to college together, etc. According to the Urban Dictionary, Arkansas is, quote, the act of being offed by one of any, n any member of a prominent political family from Arkansas. And they give an example, uh, quote, Joe, last night I heard four gunshots in my neighborhood, unquote. Ted, probably another former uh, Clinton associate committing Arkansas, unquote. Unquote. Also, the uh, Urban Dictionary, they, they give multiples because, you know, you get to go there yourself and define things. And, you know, uh, another one is, quote, a suspicious suicide of a person who is set to testify in court against powerful government officials, agencies or their billionaire patrons. This happens when a person is not in federal custody. 
and they give the example there have been so many people arkansided since the 90s 90s it can't be a statistical anomaly people just don't shoot themselves three times in the head with a revolver <laughs> yeah people don't just hang themselves with paper Unquote. sheets in a prison <laughs> yeah paper sheets right paper, she- paper sheets paper sheets yeah it would take more than one set uh-huh. to make a noose yeah. and then it- you should take so long to do so uh-huh. that they're going to notice. Twist and twist and twist yeah, and braid. Yeah, it takes a while to get that shit to actually work as a noose. It's not. It's anti-death linens. They are designed for right. you not to kill yourself with. How the fuck does he kill himself with them? Yeah. Oh, that's right. They can <laughs> be bound up into a small garrote. <laughs> in which case somebody can wrap that around your neck, push you against the fucking lower bar of the bunk, using their foot against your neck to help fucking guillotine your ass. Yeah, right. that is a way of dying right. with so. the sheets, but not from hanging yourself. Uh-huh. <laughs> you so. need help. Yeah, and, uh, you know, those of you familiar with uh, the physics involved in the jail, s- jail cell, you know exactly what Tappy's talking about, the but physics. There's a specific way to die yeah. that way, and it's just it takes certain It takes certain physics that Tabby just explained, so. Here is me now. For example, some say that in order to cover up certain activities, Epstein was arcadesided, though to be fair, it seems like a lot of parties would have a great interest in shutting up Epstein and not just the Clintons. In Why Conspiracy Theorists Will Never Believe the Official quote unquote, Epstein Story by McKay Coppins for The Atlantic, August 10th, 2019, The following tweet from Lou Dobbs, the anchor and merging editor of CNN's Lou Dobbs Tonight, CNN's folks, was included. So here's a tweet from Lou Dobbs, used to be a host on CNN. Uh, I don't think he is anymore. Um, Here is tweeting, Epstein should not have been at least on Ark, should have been at least on Arkansas Watch. So that's, he's using the term Arkansas and he's spelling it with an S. So that's why I gave it an alternate spelling in the Cold to War Encyclopedia. Uh, and he goes on to link to a New York Post article. Jeffrey Epstein was not on suicide watch when he hanged himself. And this tweet is from August 10th, 2019. So kind of all news for uh, us, but, you know, this was, uh, I think, new at the time. And so there you go. That's that's uh, somebody who's not a conservative who is clearly using the term Arkansas in a manner critical of the Clintons. Here's this cartoon, Tabby. Check this cartoon out. It's well, it's it's uh, the Clintons saying we did not suicide that man, Jeffrey Epstein. With the image and their fingers are crossed. <laughs> 20 bucks says <laughs> behind their back yeah uh-huh. right but how many of you when i when you read this do you hear basically the same thing as when when bill clinton said i did not have sex with that woman and uh they seem to not do a lot of stuff that they do yeah amazing so i think the- i never hung out with the clan hillary pictures <laughs> of her with an ex-clan yeah leader. that guy uh, whatever his Who name apparently is. apparently was so dumb that he didn't realize he was in the clan. Right. <laughs> yeah, That's right, baby. That's his excuse. He's like, I had no idea <laughs> that it was the clan and that they were racist mm. while I was there. I had no clue. Right. That's yeah. her mentor that she says was not a clan member, who is definitely a clan member, because... If you don't understand what's going on in the in the in the in the the thing, you would think that you were just new and that you went in there and then you just left real quick because you're like, oh my god, right? Yeah, that would be normal. Right. But then to become the leader of that group, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> See, that's oh, where boy. you lose me in the I'm uh, an innocent idiot. Uh-huh. Like, well, see, in order to become the leader, then that means you need to be able to speak enough to make everybody else want to listen to you and right. be a, a fucking vile piece of shit enough for them to want to follow you, right? So, how do you do that and not know that it's a racist organization? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's right. You don't, you because don't. you're a lying piece of shit, and your fucking hoe bag there is dumb. You just don't. <laughs> He even looks like an old KKK member. You see him? He had that lizard face yeah. to him. Yeah, I know, right. Monty burn skin pulled too fucking yeah. tight with he looks like spots a dic- on his fucking forehead. He looks Dude. like a Dixiecrat, an old school Southern Democrat. If we powdered his head enough and then put him in a black backdrop, you could call him the moon. Because mm. of them liver spots. Look like craters. Yeah, baby. 
Mm-hmm. Like that, that's right. just that's the look of old and evil. <laughs> In 2016, CBS Las Vegas published the list of Clinton associates who allegedly died mysteriously. Check it out. And in 2019, the Gateway Pundit published, here it is, complete list of Clinton associates who allegedly died mysteriously or committed suicide before testimony, including Jeffrey Epstein, by Jim Hoff for the Gateway Pundit. Sorry about the redundancy. I just completed this shortly before doing the live stream. Uh, both of these two articles that I just uh, named there were both combined uh, with other cited sources by a Dr. Eowyn, which is a Tolkien name. Right? I thought I was like, is that the elf? Uh, no. Uh, like elf. E-O in Tolkien, and E and an O refers to horses, and so it's going to be what those horse people, the Rohan people. Oh, okay, but it just sounds like it would be... The Tolkien name is what I mean. It sounds elfish. It yeah, it does. It is a non-normal. Tolkien thing. Yeah, but E O. Uh, let's see, is some sort of old Anglo, Germanic, Saxony, root, or maybe some Nordic root for uh, horses is E the E O. I don't know why. Because they go. <laughs> yeah, and so he takes that and he he uses those words and all the Rohan names and and names for ho- uh, words for horses and all that. But anyway, um, so a Doctor Eowyn uh, put together the the two articles. And by the way, Gateway Pundit, uh, as far as I can t- uh, tell, they usually do pretty good work. And CBS Las Vegas is a local station, so they. Local stations are a little bit more free to have their own sort of uh, thing going on. They're not as controlled as the national things. But anyway, so this uh, source, Dr. Awen, combined uh, the information for both and made their own list uh, because neither of those first two were complete. So this is from uh, 2019, though. Um, And I'm not going to go through this, but you can see... (coughs) Poor Tabby. I have pepper stuck in my throat pepper from this from the meat yeah yeah so that's a long list and then you have things like this this is a famous case uh well it's really none of these are famous enough but kevin ives a 17 year old boy who with his friend don henry were killed by a train in uh 1987 many uh individuals with information on the this case died uh in suspicious circumstances including and you can see there's a long list of people now uh as we'll see it turns out Allegedly, these two uh, teen kids uh, came across some sort of drug smuggling operation that was allegedly con- connected to the Clintons, and so they ended up dead. And then these people ended up dead in connection to it. Uh, so that's just one cluster, you see. And so here's a bunch of other names, and again, links and everything in the uh, chat and in the description to this video and here's Jeffrey Epstein and there's the um, the logs I think it is let's see here uh, number 31 Jeffrey Epstein committed suicide by hanging in his uh, Manhattan federal detention cell on August 10th 2019 flight logs of Epstein's private jet show Bill Clinton have flown on it at least 26 times reportedly the FBI has uh, also has evidence that Hillary Clinton has visited Epstein's private island and there's you can see right there Bill Clinton four secret service two males one female initials uh, more initials uh, this is apparently I guess another flight because one you know they're different numbers different lines um, Perry Lane Perry Lang anyway uh, Clinton bodyguards uh, that have been killed. Wow. And there's this one. This one was uh, Conway LeBleu killed in the Clinton FBI assault on Waco in February 1990. Okay, yeah, 1993. I heard about that. Like, uh, so I don't know too much about that, but supposedly an FBI uh, an agent was killed by someone else. And they try to make it uh, seemed like a way, like it was a, uh, like they were killed in regular action against the Waco people. Mm-hmm. Um, but I really don't know much about that. Sneaky what's babe? Bastards. Sneaky bastards indeed, yes. Um, but anyway, kudos to Eowyn, Dr. Eowyn, for putting that together and also for uh, picking that name. 
I think A1 may have been, isn't it the female character from that culture that has a love interest with somebody else and she ends up with somebody else? A1, I think so, right? It's possible. I don't know. I forget. This is, I think this is the globe. This uh, photograph of an uh, open uh, paper, I think it's the globe. Clinton's killed kids to protect drug racket. And that's about the uh, two teens. Uh, May 7th, 2018, edition of the globe. It was reported, quote, Arkansas prosecutors, Arkansas prosecutors have launched an investigation related to shocking claims Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton ordered the brutal 1987 murder of two innocent teenagers <clears throat> excuse me, amid a dark drug smuggling scandal. In a stunning interview with Little Rock radio host Doc Washburn, former professional wrestler Billy Jack Haynes charged Clinton then governor of Arkansas, recruited him as a muscle for a rogue CIA drug running operation and ordered the deaths of Kevin Ives, 17, and Don Henry, 16, after they accidentally stumbled upon it. Wow. <clears throat> Quote, Sailing County prosecutors have subpoenaed my interview with Billy Jack and are pleading with the private investigators who originally located him to hand him over, unquote, radio host Washburn says in an exclusive Globe interview. Uh, Washburn also gave Globe a copy of the explosive subpoena. The radio host believes the ex-wrestler's allegations about the former president was the catalyst that drew the prosecutor's attention to the case. Quote, the fact that Billy Jack called, called out Clinton was definitely the lightning rod here, unquote, he says. Quote, they called me the day after the broadcast and sent the subpoena demanding any and all interviews I had conducted with Billy Jack Haynes, unquote, unquote. There was more to that article by the Globe, or Globe, I should say. They don't like, they don't put the other. There was more to that by the Globe, by Globe, <laughs> but it was behind a paywall. And, uh, you know, there's more information uh, from other sources about that. Uh, Conservapedia gives us a look into a double murder cover-up uh, that seems to have led to a number of other murder cover-ups to cover up the initial murder cover-up. Now, this is, I believe, the same uh, case, but it's more information. One of the more, and this is uh, Conservapedia, yeah, quote, to quote Conservapedia, quote, one of the more bizarre cases among the plethora of bizarre cases that was of a witness to the Mina Arkansas Ives slash Henry double murder case, also known as the Boys on the Tracks. So I guess you could do searches under that. Continuing with the conservative words, the state's chief medical examiner appointed by Governor Bill Clinton originally ruled that the Ives Henry double murder, or he originally ruled the Ives Henry double murder, <laughs> Ives Henry double murder as suicides, which was later overturned. The same medical examiner ruled a quote-unquote suicide the death of a witness whose decapitated head was found in a dumpster two blocks away. Yeah. I've heard of this one. Imagine ruling that a suicide. Some definite foul play. And you know, sometimes small towns can have foul play. People get in really tight where they can do something like that. More metropolitan areas or uh, cosmopolitan areas, it's harder to get away with things like that. Uh, they continue, Ives slash Henry Case died April 23rd, 1987, known as, quote, the boys on the track, unquote, Case. Reports indicate that Ives and Henry stumbled upon and witnessed. Reports indicate that Ives and Henry stumbled upon and witnessed an aerial drop in the area of, I'm not sure how to say that. That's going to be French, so bo bo Bowite. I guess the X would probably be silent. Bowite, I don't know. And Alexander, Arkansas, part of the MENA, I suppose you say, drug smuggling operation. Footnote. Initial cause of death was claimed to be the result of passing out on railroad tracks in Saline County after smoking marijuana. You don't pass out just from smoking marijuana, but... Yeah, the ruling was reported by the state chief medical examiner, Dr. Fami Malik, I guess you could say. And again, there's a footnote there if you want to click on it. In April 1988, Kevin Ives' body was exhumed and another autopsy was performed, this one by the Atlanta medical examiner, Dr. Joseph Burton, who discovered that Kevin died from a crushed skull. 
prior to being placed on the tracks. Don Henry's body was exhumed and discovered to have been stabbed in the back prior to being placed on the tracks. Now, that's some strong marijuana. If it cracks your skull and stabs you in the back. Governor Bill Clinton stood by Malik, if I'm saying that correctly, even though a group of citizens and the Arkansas Democrat, um, I think that's a newspaper, call for his dismissal. Clinton excused Fami Malik's... See, they're spelling his name differently from here to there. Hmm. Uh, Clinton excused Fami Malik's quote-unquote errors, saying that Malik was, quote, tired and stressed out, unquote. And there's footnotes they give you uh, of different sources there. The existing evidence point uh, points uh, toward two local policemen, they give you a footnote, seven more violent deaths occurred before their testimony could come before a grand jury. Wow. Witnesses in the uh, case of Ives slash Henry James Dewey Millam uh, found uh, decapitated. Dr. Fabi Malik, uh, the coroner, initially ruled the death due to natural causes, quote unquote, and then an, oh, and an ulcer. <laughs> so his ulcer was so bad it chopped his head off, claiming that the victim's small dog had eaten his head. <laughs> okay. Malone's head was later... I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but this is just so absurd and stupid. Malone's head uh, was later recovered fully intact from a trash bin several blocks away. Alright, so that's the one that we mentioned earlier. Uh, Kevin Coney, 1988, died when his... Uh, uh, July 1988, died when his uh, motorcycle slammed into the back of a truck. Okay, so maybe an accident, you know. Uh, but... Kevin uh, McMaskill, 1988, owned uh, a local bar, stabbed 113 times to death. Gregory Collins, 1988, died it's from gunshot to, wound. It's, it's hard to fall on a knife 118 times. <laughs> There's others, uh, you know, burned in a trash dump after being mutilated and shot. Uh, set up, killed in a set-up rob robbery, uh, found shot to death in front seat of his pickup truck. Uh, and then to give you a little bit about John Ash and Jeffrey Epstein um, and so on. So, again, folks, uh, links to everything. Uh, keep in mind, this is me now, keep in mind that this is just one nexus or one cluster of uh, such Arkansas, Arkansas. It's one cluster of the what the fuck? Yeah, but, you know, a 17 and a 16-year-old, right? My word. Uh, you know. I did not, again, I, I didn't look deeply into any of this, but, you know, it's hard to ignore at least 80 different allegations of Arkansas. Uh, you know, there's, it's worth looking into really deeply. And maybe uh, I'll try my best to look deeply into that stuff. All for the Culture War Encyclopedia. But, um, to, okay, here we have a cartoon of Epstein... Uh, on suicide watch and he's pretending he's sleeping but he's got one eye open and he's in his jail cell in his orange thing you know uh, so anyway I continue in 2016 Canadian Free Press published treason Arkansas bloat the Clinton fortune invalidate presidential bid by A. Drew Kristenev not sure if I'm saying that correctly, in which they report, quote, inflammatory headline, perhaps, at least until the facts are considered on their merits and not on the general media's sugarcoating. And then a little further down, they write, facts. A, over three decades, more than 80 people associated with the Clintons have met their deaths under suspicious circumstances or, bluntly put, murder. This includes the last four people to die in six weeks, who were relocated? Uh, who were relocated to the 2016 Clinton campaign? Related, sorry, to the 2016 uh, Clinton campaign. Even Obama hasn't been connected to such a deadly domestic syndicate. Unquote. Now, although he's friends with the Clintons, so yes, you can and draw his, your own line there, right? <laughs> and you know what? Uh, his article, or I'm not sure if it's a he or she, Clinton Fortune. And uh, this is why I like to put links to everything, because you can see this for yourself, folks. This is a very small small source, 
but they give you their citations and everything. So besides the deaths, which I'll go into, uh, illegally deleting over 30,000 uh, emails to counter government regulations, de uh, delivering 20% uh, control of 20% of America's uranium to Russian hands, you know, and then they accuse uh, uh, Trump of Russian collusion. Laundering funds through the Clinton Foundation to uh, provide access to government officials and policies, uh, policies, policy, sorry, supplementing arms to ISIS in Libya, communications between Clinton aides and uh, justice regarding investigation of emails, the Justice Department, uh, aiding Moscow to, uh, Moscow to, whoop, why is it going dark, to uh, build <laughs> Russian Silicon Valley uh, stuff and whatnot. Um, it's shading out because I get I think that an ad's about to pop up so let me get out of here but anyway there's an archive there for that the author of that goes on uh, with a dirty Clinton laundry list and I recommend that you read it the uh, piece originally linked to a report by Tyler Durden quote unquote for Zero Hedge I like that source who's reporting in my, my albeit selective experience has always been reliable factually co correct and well sourced uh, but the link uh, to that is now dead. So uh, didn't, and I tried to find it, didn't really do it. But here you have um, a Venn diagram uh, where what is the overlap of unexpected death, quote unquote, suicide, uh, and Arkansas? <laughs> it's Hillary Clinton. Of course. And uh, between unexpected death and suicide, you have early demise. That's what they have in common, as per the Venn diagram uh, principles. Uh, what do you have in common between suicide and Arkansas? Well, family, friends. Uh, unexpected death and Arkansas, you have in common political associates, but they all have in common Hillary Clinton. The latest Arkansas, and this is what this is all about. This is what it's spurred by reporting coming out just yesterday about this. Uh, yesterday, uh, Russian Times uh, published details of former Clinton aide's bizarre quote-unquote suicide revealed. Uh, also yesterday, the Daily Mail published Arkansas cops rule, rule suicide in death of Clinton aide linked to Jeffrey Epstein, who was found shot and tied to a tree with an electrical cord around his neck despite, despite no sign of weapon. Yep, all that is the headline last two articles or the later article the one from the daily mail was quoted heavily in uh the source not the bee so you folks may know the babylon bee which is satirical there's also not the bee which is stuff that is so absurd that you would think it's satirical but it's not so they put out an article yesterday february 22nd Arkansas, Arkansas cops rule death of Clinton aide found tied to a tree and shot with no gun found a suicide. Uh, now let's have a look at that. And by the way, this is not from the article, but I think this is funny. This is a a sign. Tabby, take a look at this. Somebody selling guns and ammo and they put up, up on their sign. Statistically, <laughs> you are more likely to be killed by Hillary Clinton than That's an AR-15. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Yep. <laughs> Well played. Well played. Well played. Yeah. That God chuckle. In this uh, <laughs> article by the B, not the B, sorry, Harris Rigby writes, quote, I would just like to say that I'm not suicidal at all and uh, am of sound physical and mental health. With that said, in the immortal words of Cardi B, quote, that's suspicious, that's weird, unquote. Check this out, the ultimate Clown World headline. And this is a tweet from Clown World. If you uh, are on Twitter and you don't uh, follow Clown World, you should. Uh, and they're tweeting, seems legit, and they are tweeting out this article, the one I quoted above, or gave you the headline above by the Daily Mail. Uh, I'm not going to read that again, and uh, but we're going to look at that article. Well, actually, that article is going to be heavily quoted in here so basically uh and commented upon upon by what is his name rigby harris rigby for not to be so harris writes yes this is a real story from uh, the clinton's home state of arkansas a former clinton aide who had ties to jeffrey epstein committed suicide by shooting himself and tying himself to a tree even though police couldn't even find the gun goddamn magical well, this is Not the Bee, Harris Rigby writing for Not the Bee, quoting the Daily Mail article right here. 
quote, the sheriff, the sheriff's report into Mark Middleton's mysterious death raises more questions than answers as it rules he died by suicide despite no sign of the weapon that killed him. Unquote. And then here, uh, Not the Bee puts in the iconic scene from... Uh, mm, yeah, exactly. Right. Like, right. So yeah. I'm supposed to... Oh, I'm so... Okay. Mm. Yeah. So they continue quoting the Daily uh, Mail. Was it the Daily Mail? <laughs> yeah, the Daily Mail. Right. Uh, the reporter... Quote, the report... Written by Perry County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Lawson says he was called to the ranch by worker Samantha L. McElroy, who had found Middleton's abandoned black BMW SUV. McElroy, 46, then walked around a cottage on the ranch. Uh, excuse me, folks. Quote, almost immediately after stepping around the corner of the cottage, she started yelling, unquote, wrote, wrote Lawson. Quote, upon reaching the back of the cottage, she pointed towards the rear of the property and asked if that was a person. I could see what at first appeared to be, a, quote, I, yeah, okay, this is her. I could see what at first appeared to be a man sitting near a tree. As my eyes focused better, I could see a rope of some type going from the tree limb to the male. Unquote. Lawson said it was clear that Middleton was dead. Quote, I could see that he had a gunshot wound to the chest and that he had a knot tied and an extension cord around his neck and it was attached to the limb directly above him. The deputy said... I think they mean to put an unquote there, folks. The deputy said a search of Middleton's vehicle turned up three boxes of buckshot and a gun case, but no weapon. Unquote. All right. Again, that was me quoting, uh, not the B quoting the Daily Mail. Not the B goes on to say, quote, you know, whenever I tie myself to a tree <laughs> and shoot myself in the chest, what I normally do is take the gun away from the crime scene, but leave all the other evidence. Yeah, because, <laughs> I need know, to leave the place clean and tidy. Go ahead, make them think anybody else is guilty. Right, you know, it's common courtesy. I mean, I just want them to know I did. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, this... Like, oh, what? Oh, baby. You all right? Because I don't think you're okay. <laughs> the fuck is this? Yeah. You worry me, son. Oh, uh, boy. Hell. So they go on to quote again, uh, not the beast quoting the Daily Mail here, quote, Middleton was a special advisor to Bill Clinton in the 1990s and signed Jeffrey Epstein into the White House on seven of the 17 times the late pedophile visited. Middleton flew on Epstein's... <laughs> Sorry, that was a good thing. The late pedophile visited. <laughs> yeah, this is the Daily Mail, by the way. <laughs> not the bee is, is sarcastic enough. But the Daily Mail is usually kind of a more straightforward, though I find them to be resourceful and, and you know, they have their receipts, so to speak. Milton also flew on Epstein's jet, nicknamed the Lolita Express. More recently, I've uh, been uh, working for his family's HVAC business in Little Rock. The police reported re the police report was released to Daily Mail by the Perry County Sheriff's Office. According to the Arkansas Times, Middleton's family said he was suffering from depression, unquote. Now, this is um, Harris, uh, not the B, saying the following. The dude personally flew on Lolita Express. Yeah. He signed Epstein in and out of the, of the White House, in and out of the White House for the Clintons. Then, years later, like everyone else who knows the Clintons and Epstein, he happens to kill himself. It's yeah. so weird how that keeps happening. All right, then he goes, uh, goes on to quote the Daily Mail. Quote, White House visitor logs previously reported by uh, the Daily Mail show that he appears as the authorizing signatory, I think that, or is it signatory? Signatory. Thank you. On seven, uh, on seven of Epstein's White House visits, most of which were to the West Wing. In addition to being a special assistant to the president, Middleton was also assistant to the chief of staff, Thomas Mack, quote unquote, Mc. McLarty, his nickname Mac, Middleton left the White House in February 1995 and was accused of setting, setting himself up as an international deal maker, exactly the kind of person that would appeal to Epstein. 
in 1996, an investigation by the White House found that Middleton had abused his access to impress business clients and was barred from the executive mansion without senior approval. Middleton denied the claims, unquote. And then Harris, for the not the bee, says, writes, I'm sure this is just another crazy coincidence. Oh, yeah. I- you hear that, Hillary? Just a wild happenstance. Nothing weird going on here. Just uh, oopsies. Yep. And so then uh, that's the... And whoopsie doodles. Then we have this right here. <laughs> Hillary, I can't help it. People around me just die. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's an epidemic. She's like the walking plague. Yeah. You know, they just, it's not, it's, she, it's, she's totally not doing it on purpose. She truly misses all of these people that had dirt on her. Yep. By the way, who's, uh, who's taking bets on how long Epstein's partner in crime there, um is paid a little visit by Hillary's fatal bony finger of death. And you can see there's a meme here. Uh, Seth Rich has been visited by the uh, Reaper, so to speak, of Hillary. Yeah. And then Jeffrey Epstein. And now she's knocking on the door of Ghislaine Maxwell in this meme. I didn't make it. You you, probably... Jizzy face. Jizz face. Uh... By the way, uh, oh, is this the end of our thing? Or I thought I had more. No, we're coming near the end. So uh, at the end of my article here, I put also see Arkansas, which is a great website. Um, let me just show you really quick, folks. It is definitely uh, small stuff, but I, I admire people who are on the level of, say, myself, who just find some way to put a blog type. Oh, okay. What happened? Um, there's uh, different sources at the end of my article here uh arkansas great uh source white water scandal uh by er- ernest dumas for the encyclopedia of arkansas and uh um let's see washington post yes this is yeah it's certainly an opposing point of view this article you can tell by the headline yes there there are actually are people who believe the clintons killed vince foster uh washington post in 2016 uh npr Clinton Scandals, A Guide from Whitewater to the Clinton Foundation um, by NPR and uh, CBS Las Vegas. That's the uh, the article we went over a little bit. The list of Clinton associates, uh, Clinton associates who allegedly died mysteriously. Check it out. Conduit News with Ken Yang reacts to the death of Linda Collins. Uh, and etc. There's other sources there, so you get the idea. Uh, is there anything you would like to add about Clinton uh, stuff, Arkansas and otherwise, Tabby? Oh, that they're definitely fucking guilty. They are guilty, guilty, guilty. No one has that many people die around them accidentally with non-accidental accidental deaths. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, folks, what we're looking at here, I'm just scrolling uh, through, is the Culture War Encyclopedia. Just to give you a little idea, something to see as we speak here. But uh, anyway, I think that'll be it, folks. Uh, Thank you very much for being here. Uh, Leave us a comment below and all that kind of stuff. Thank you very much.